Hey guys, welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you guys born in the year of the snake. So if you are a snake, this reading will be for you. If you know any snakes, then give us a, give us a share, point them in the direction of the video. Let's see what is in store for you guys this week. We're just going to shuffle these up and uh, see where we're at. Let's uh, leave it. <laughs> let's leave it there let's go with that one from the bottom this one from the middle this one from the top what have we got oh we got two blacks and a white there that's not too bad black and white again things could be better things could be worse it's it's nothing to it's nothing really to concern yourself too much about straight off the bat though we've got that monkey okay we've got the monkey card there right that monkey is a it's actually the soulmate card for the snake but the monkey and the snake aren't necessarily that compatible. They're very suspicious of each other. I also want to say that when I say soulmate connections, if you want to know more about these uh, soulmate lines and conflict lines or things like this, hit that subscribe button because we are going to do videos about this in the future. But the soulmate line isn't what everybody would think it is. It's not a, it's not a compatibility like the triangles where it's the, most pers the person that you're most likely to get, you know, compatible, or, compatible with or get along with. It's more of a connection or a joining that comes together where the two people that are involved will definitely learn lessons one way or another and be put into a position where they'll have no choice but to elevate themselves because of the, the union between the two people coming together. It's universal, it's, it's karmic, it's destiny, it's fate, it's all of these things, it's all of these, you know connections of the universe bringing everybody here there and everywhere together that soulmate line means that when snake and monkeys meet each other or any other all the other soulmate uh, connections meet each other there is definitely there is something between them as people where they will learn lessons from each other or they will teach and 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 sort of support each other in ways that other signs wouldn't necessarily do it's not a conflict like the conflict lines it's not a compatibility like the affinity triangles it's something completely different that's unique to each sign with the monkey and the snake again it's one of those soulmate connections which is a bit it's a bit risky there's a there's risks to be had there um whereas you know most signs can kind of tolerate a monkey snakes can be really i don't know suspicious of them really kind of uh irked by them now with that black monkey however that monkey's coming in and um basically giving you that uh, push in the direction of self-care, being, um, being there for yourself, looking after yourself, being a, being a little bit more incentive uh, or have, have a little bit more of an incentive to be there for the reasonings that you need to be there for yourself. Like everybody will have their own reasons for what they're going, going through or how they respond and react to that. You need to concentrate on your processes, your coping mechanisms, the healthy coping mechanisms that you have. You need to look into yourself and not and not let yourself get run down at this time, because this is a very this is a very interesting time for you guys with that monkey card coming in, because there are things that you want to do for yourself. There's things that you want to do to to lift yourself up and to, to pick yourself up. You want to elevate yourself and, and you want to feel good about yourself. And you and, and for the best part, you, you are because you're getting it done. I just think that realistically, you keeping your thoughts to yourself or you bottling things down, that's one of the reasons that you're, um, you're feeling a bit down or misplaced right now because you're bottling things up. Snake have this, this way of just bottling things up, push it down, push it down, push it down. Um, and the more you push it down, the worse it gets for you. Uh, mentally, emotionally, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to drain you and exhaust you. And that monkey's coming in to say, like, you need to process this better. You need to look out for you and you need to deal with it in your way. Um, and that could be any way. That could be any way. Getting outside in nature, a bit of retail therapy, talking to some friends, uh, you know, reading a book. It could be anything that you do to just sort of switch off and, and get away from that hustle and bustle and stress of everyday life and just do something that is for you um because you will get run down otherwise in fact that's potentially what you are doing is being run down um 
but there are potential gains ahead. There are potential gains to be had with that monkey card. All that black rats come in as well. Now the black rat jumps in. Same triangle. They're part of the doer triangle here. So there's definitely things that you need to get done. Things that you need to do. Things that you need to evaluate. The black monkey, the black rat, they're coming together in that both negative way. But both, well, neither of them are incompatible with you. They're both uh, doers, so therefore there is definitely something that you need to look at. Potentially you're missing a romantic element in your life, and this is getting you down. Potentially you're feeling a little bit sad because it's spring, and everybody likes the idea of their little summer romances and their little flings and their, you know, romantic uh, sort of Hollywood uh, style uh, meeting someone and falling in love and all of this, that and the other. And potentially that's what you're missing. You're missing a romantic romantic element in your life or at least some fun you're missing fun and I think it's getting you down that rat and the snake again they're pretty uh they're pretty good together they're pretty good together and the rat and the snake are both intuitive intuitive creatures um so therefore maybe as I say you need to concentrate on yourself you need to look at yourself and trust your intuition here you need to trust your intuition I think really the things that you're missing out on or the things that you want the things that you feel aren't progressing or, you know, you feel have been halted, maybe romantically, where you want to be in a relationship, but you're not. But, but you know, you're unsure of how to go about it or potentially you are in a relationship, but you want things to move to the next level or you want uh, things to happen and progress in that relationship. Things like this. Potentially, it's because you've got things to do first. You've got to concentrate on yourself. You can't just rush into this. You can't just uh, you can't just make it happen. The rat is a planner. It's uh, it's it's being prepared. It's it's if you're not ready, things are going to fall apart. And that's potentially what this is. It's a time for you to get ready. Now, if you remember, or if you've watched the snake predictions for the entire year what that horoscope was saying in um in the dragon year is that this isn't going to be a romantic year for snake people it's not you're not going to meet the love of your life this year you're not going to potentially meet the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with this year and if you are in a relationship it's not going to change much it's going to remain quite the same consistent now although you may want change or you may want something to happen you've got to put the work in and that's what these two are saying put the work in and there's a catalyst card the goat the sheep again this uh this catalyst card this this is pushing change this is this is showing change and if you can work on these things where it is for yourself and you are looking after yourself and you're becoming more uh more aware of yourself and open to yourself and listening to yourself etc 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 all this self-care this this selfish looking out for yourself and you get through this, you've got some good changes coming. There's a white positive catalyst card there. If you want to know more about the catalyst cards, then do hit that subscribe button because we are going to do more videos about that in the future. But the sheep and the uh, the sheep and the snake, they aren't, they're not the most compatible in the world. However, I do see frustrations here. I'm seeing that, um, that you are getting agitated. You're getting some sort of resentment towards something someone as i say potentially it's because you're wanting a romantic element into your life and what's happening is is you're seeing all these people around you ha being happy happy and it's getting you down it's making you feel a bit less in yourself you're not feeling as confident as you could do because everybody else seems to be happy happy and getting on with it but you're not in or out of a relationship things just don't seem to be right um, and you don't like that you wish you want they're not they're not right or wrong it's more you just want things to be different you wish things were different but potentially right now even if you were to get into a relationship without doing the work that you need to do it's just gonna it's just gonna be a temporary thing and it's not gonna make you feel great in the long term potentially it will just set you up for more disappointment and heartbreak in the future that catalyst card is a white card so positive things can come from this but again it's just like the karmic cards it may not be for you Sometimes the universe moves you in order to be a catalyst for somebody else. Sometimes you have to do things or you have to endure things because it's a karmic debt or a karmic reward that involves someone or something else that has got nothing to do with you because the universe works like that. It's not all about you. It's not all about a specific person. This is, this, this is everything all in one. This is about everything and, and almost for the greater good. This is... This is something beyond our control. It's fate. It's destiny. And that karmic, that uh, catalyst card, sorry, that goat, that sheep there, it does show that there are changes coming. But again, you need to be committed to this. You can't procrastinate on some things or ignore other things and then, and then, and then expect results. 
you can't do that. The goat is, or the sheep is, a master procrastinator. They'll put things off if they can. They're not, they're not the greatest at getting things done the quickest. And potentially that's what is irking you, or that's what's frustrating you, is that although you're not the procrastinator, it seems like you're surrounded by procrastinators, or time is going so slowly that it's almost like you've been in this place for years, when really it's probably been only a couple of weeks, um, maybe less. I think right now, the snake, because the snake isn't, well, I don't want to insult people, but the snake can be a very cold, negative person. And although you'll probably sit there going, well, I'm not, I'm not, there'll probably be factors to play or, or there that, that change that dynamic. We're going to be looking at more of that in the future when we look into the individual personalities. So when we look into the snake personality in the future, I'll talk about more, I'll talk more about that in the future. Um, but the snake, as a sort of standard, is a cold, kind of distant person. And you can shut yourself off. And you do, to protect yourself. Nobody's arguing with that. But that sheep card is kind of saying, just be a little bit more sensitive. Either to yourself, as that monkey card would suggest, that you need to be selfish a little bit and have some self-care. Um, maybe you just need to be a little bit easier on yourself. And don't, don't put yourself down. Don't put yourself down. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just right now, it's not your time. It's not your turn. You just got to wait your turn. Um, and that rat card is just basically saying that, you know, put the prep work in. Work on yourself. Do it. And things will start to happen and things will start to change. Things will start to move in that direction. Just don't, just don't try to uh, bite off more than you could chew. Just take it easy. And, you know, love and stuff like this happens when we least expect it. So one day you might just be walking down the road or, or, you know, bump into somebody or whatever. And it could just happen just like that. A nice organic natural meeting and it will mean something because you would have put this self-work in, which would have uh, made it more beneficial, not just for you, but also for that other person as well. You know, you might feel like you're ready for a relationship or ready to be with somebody. But if you're not, you could end up hurting somebody or damaging somebody just as much as they can hurt and damage you. You have to put that self-work in. You have to look out for for you here and and in turn you'll be doing the best you know you'll have that sort of best intentions or whatever or a better perspective when you get into that relationship for it to be healthier and make it work but we'll find out won't we as uh, time goes by and we'll also find out next week how you're getting on with that when uh when I come back next Wednesday and do another video for the snake people, if you have enjoyed that video, please give us a like, hit that subscribe button. We'll be back tomorrow to do a reading for the horse and the sheep people. So I'll see you then if you're following for the Chinese Zodiac or if you're just following for your own individual readings. I will see you next week, next Wednesday when uh, we come back and do another snake reading for you guys. Thanks for watching. Love and peace.